<laughs> hey everyone, this is Dolphin Oracle here again today with Mrs. Oracle. How you doing? Doing well. How are you? Uh, just fine. She has joined us again as we continue setting up her live USB stick key for purposes of her classroom. So here we are. We're running live uh, uh, on the live USB stick right now. Um, is there anything here you want to tweak real quick before we uh, move on to installing your apps? I I am a creature of habit. I would like it to look a little bit more like what I'm used to with using Windows. Can okay, you so you want you probably you probably mean you want this panel, the toolbar, whatever you want to call it, on the bottom. On the bottom, yes. Okay, we can put it on the bottom, put it on the top, put it wherever okay. you want. So go ahead and take the mouse and run it down there to the menu, and we got it. Uh, and we are going to use. Um, uh, type this, type tweak. We have a little tool to do this, MX tweak. It actually pops up in the welcome screen, but we've already used your welcome screen in the previous video, so it, it, it's still there, it just doesn't pop up automatically anymore. So go ahead and start that. And a little app will come up, it backs up. We call that thing the panel in, in Linux, in, 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 in MX world. And so here we go, we got this panel tab. So you can put it wherever you want it. So you want to put it on the bottom and display it, yep. Yeah. You gotta hit the apply button. Okay. All right. There we go. It's on the bottom. It's all rearranged. All right. We can move on. So, okay. anybody's ever want, wanted to put their panel on the bottom, like my wife, don't know why you want to do that, but if you want to, you can, and we make it easy. All right. All right. So, the next thing we gotta do is install your apps. So, what apps are you looking to install? Um, I do some screencasting okay. for my classroom. So, yes. I like OBS Studio. Not a problem. And um, I. Sometimes, occasionally, make mistakes, so I need an editor. And on my computer, I use on my Windows machine, I use Windows Movie Maker. I feel but sympathy I'm having, for you. I'm having issues with it. So As you will. Yes. I think you recommended um, K Kden Live. That was it. K D E N Live. This yeah. is the K D E Projects video editor. Excuse me. And even though MX doesn't use K D E as the desktop, as a desktop environment. Um, it's still a dang good editor, so I'm willing to put up with it. Uh, so, okay, so we're going to use the MX package installer to do this. Those packages in Linux, that's that's kind of like installing apps. Like if you downloaded an EXE or a zip file or something from the internet under Windows, we want packages. And particularly for MX and Debian, that's called a deb file, a DEB file. But you don't really need to know that. All you need to know is it's called a package. And so if you go to our menu and type package, you will see various options for installing packages. And the easiest one is MX Package Installer for what we're going to do today. Okay. <clears throat> and here you got to have an administrator password. So uh, actually, I don't, it's, your, it's your password. So. Oh, no. Let's see if it's my usual password. Did that work? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> this is embarrassing. Well, there's no one watching right now, so it's not embarrassing. There we go. It's okay. my school password. It's your password. She, okay. she eventually remember her password. Remember your passwords, people. I think we'll leave that in. That's a pretty good lesson. <laughs> remember your passwords. It's important. Because we don't let you do things that, on an administrative level without a password. Do you, does your easy pass, or last pass, rather, does okay. work on this? Not directly. Okay. I occasionally store passwords in manually in there just so I don't forget them. Uh, I know my passwords that I use. My administrator okay. password is always the same when I install it, so I, I, it's built into my fingers at this point. Okay. But but no, you could. You could use a password manager. Use KeyPass or something like that to store it if you feel like you might forget it. So that's a good I tip. I never forget my passwords. Yeah, okay, moving on. <laughs> so so we have here the, the package installer. Uh, in popular applications, the two applications you mentioned, Caden Live and OBS Studio, I already have the note, are in our popular applications. So why don't you navigate through this little menu here? Can I not? Yes, can you I can. Look? Okay. And there you go. You get search bar. Okay. Wow. Good job. Okay. Search bar. So you checkbox the one you want. Okay. All right. And now you can you can clear that filter and get Caden Live too. You don't have to do one at a time. There you go. And it's under our video. Right here. Yep. Okay. And now click the uh, install, install button. And it will do its thing. Now, package installer for those of you out in the world who who don't know, package installer does some things. Let's so see. Here we go. So now it's going to say, "Yeah, we need to install all this stuff. Do you want to continue?" 
Just hit yes. We want to continue and enter. Hit enter. Yeah. Okay. We're making some tweaks to this application. It's going to make this a little more intuitive. It's not okay. going to pop open this terminal thing anymore. But that's being developed right now. Anyway, why do you want OBS Studio and Caden Live? Well, I use OBS Studio now, and I really like it. But I use the Windows version. Um, like I said, Caden Live to replace. My right, the movie maker. maker. Yeah. But I use them in my classroom. I ha I do what's called flipping some lessons or flipping. some units, and that's in the traditional classroom. I teach math in the traditional math classroom. Um, the teacher will lecture, then you take problems home and work on them. In a flipped classroom, you watch the lectures at home, usually as a video, and well, I guess only as a video. What are your other choices? The teacher comes to your house and. You're not doing there. these presentations in person. <laughs> That's right. And uh, so the <laughs> students will watch the videos as homework, and then we'll work on the problems in the classroom. So are you using, like, some school website for video, or what are you using for video? Well, I have them up on YouTube, okay. but I also I encode them. We, we use a, a system called Schoology. Okay, and so you got so a little bit of both. They log into Schoology, but it, it refers, yeah. Okay, gotcha. So anyway, we're, so we're using online video. Okay, fair enough. So, 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 so you need to be able to make the videos. That's what OBS Studio is for, and then you need to be able to edit the videos, which is what Caden Live is for. Right. Okay. And Caden Live is going to, if I recall right, Caden Live will, can also shrink it a little bit so that it's a little easier to upload okay. for you uh, when we do the reencode. All right. So this is going to take a few more minutes to install. We will pause here and come right back. Hit okay, skip recording. Okay, we're back. And yes, the process finished. So click yes, and we can close project. Uh, cl close close the Package installer. Install. Yes, thank mm -hmm. you. So if you want to start Caden Live, go ahead and click the little button, the little menu button, and you can go to multimedia or just type it. There you go. Okay. And Caden Live, and up comes the video editor. Now we're probably going to get a little warning here in a second about it not having a DVD author. We're not in it to make DVDs, so no one cares. So okay. click OK. If you really, really want DVD author, it's available, but we don't. It doesn't install by default. So here is the main interface. Now this is not a tutorial for Caden Live. We're just talking about installing and setting stuff up. Uh, OBS you already know about because mm -hmm. it's more or less. I mean, some of the names of the hardware is different, but the application is the same. Um, but more or less, let me uh, grab the mouse here. More or less, you'll come over here and add your clips. I think, they're, yeah, there are little hovers. You add your clips and you just kind of navigate the file system and pick what pick what videos you want to add, and they'll show up in this little window as clips. Almost everything is resizable. You can, you can, there's actually, there's a, there's a, I think there's a, I think there's another panel here that shows up, else, uh, like effects panel. Okay. But almost everything's resizable in K, K, KDE. You just have to find the drag bars a little bit. I'll have to play with it a little bit. You have bit. to play with it a little bit. But, um, and you can monitor your project or your clip, depending on what you want. Your project's down here. And you just literally drag stuff onto the bar and then use the tools to edit as you want. So we'll play with that as we go. You might not know this, um, but how close would is Caden Live to um, like Adobe's? What is? There's the one that Mac ships with that I can never remember the name of it. They might be using that too because I think there's an iPhone version of that. Okay. But. Um, <clears throat> but it's not it's not too hard it, once you know a few basic tools you can really get some work done um, and it's not and then when you're done it'll you, there's an encode button and it'll it'll re-encode it however you want to encode and you'll have the choices for if it's internet or yes there's all okay. sorts of choices and uh, and then you can upload it like you always do okay now except now you can edit out all the parts that you don't want people to see okay all right. Well, that's it for installing with Mrs. Oracle today. For tips, tricks, how-tos, head over to mxlinux.org or throw up a post at forum.mxlinux.org. This is Dolphin Oracle. And Mrs. Oracle. Signing off. Have a great day. Love monkey. Wow. <laughs>